Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got this vacuum cleaner that I found today. It's got a bit of a crack in it, but the motor works. I turned it on and gave it a test, and it wouldn't suck up anything off this really sawdusty floor, which should be a reasonable test for a vacuum cleaner. There's nothing in the chamber, and there is a small amount of uh, a vacuum coming off here, but nothing major. Not enough, like I say, to suck anything up off the floor. So I just want to see what's in it. There's nothing in, t in the. Uh, there's nothing in here in the cylinder. So if I can get this off, usually, yeah, here we are. <laughs> There's something stuck in the hose. So we've got a big pen. Now looking in there, there's something else in there. So if I get a pliers, not long enough. Got a needle nose pliers here. It looks like a sock and then I don't know what else is down beyond that. Some dust. That might be it, a sock. No, there's something else in there. Okay, we're not getting out, so. So something's in there and it's not coming out. I can see it. It's like a big gob of hair or something like that. Got a piece of wire here. In this case, it's a bicycle spoke and I'm just putting a little hook on the end of it. And I'll run that up along the side and then twist it. And, oh, lovely. It's a big gob of hair. There's a piece of paper in here. And that may be the end of it. Now let's just tip this out. Is there some stuff in there as well? McDonald's drink straw. A bit more hair. Let's turn it on and see what happens. So it's definitely sucking better here now, so I'll clip this back in, putting all this stuff aside. And let's see, at this end now, I won't suck up all the big stuff. It actually works really well. It's really strong. Um, I don't know where that pen's gone. I don't feel it in there. There it is in the tube. I'm going to just for fun. I think the pen got caught and then the sock got caught beyond the pen. So I just want to see if these things will go through it now that they're individual. So this is actually a really good vacuum cleaner. It's a Murphy Richards Perform Air Pet Cyclone, Pet Cyclonic uh, Lifetime HEPA filter with turbo tool and other bits and bobs. Let's just have a look around this now because I think this is actually quite good. There's a button up on, let's get up here. There's a button up on top that lifts this thing up. That's the door on the top of it there. And inside you've got a little caddy with a handle and then there's an opener on the base with a button button on top here and that releases a door on the bottom. This one's a bit wet which I'm not too keen on because it was outside when I when I found it. Um, there's a bit of moisture in the bottom there but we'll get all that tidied up. It, it's obviously working really well. It's a it's a good strong one so what I'll probably do is I'll give this caddy a wash uh, but nothing nothing fancy and 
that's it. I think that solved the problem of what was blocked in it. The piece of wire, um, you could make this out of a longer piece of wire if the blockage was further in, or if you straighten out the hose. Sometimes you can just push a broom handle the whole way through. It's the curved end that you get stuck on. So if you can kind of fi find out where the blockage is, sometimes it's possible using these tabs here on the side or somehow this this will come apart, but it can be a bit of a labor to try and figure it out. And most models are different. So you've just got to spend a bit of time tinkering with it. I won't bother because there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, that's, that's what happens. So instead of just tossing out your vacuum cleaner because because it's got a tiny crack in the plastic and uh, won't suck because you're too ignorant to pick a pen up off the floor and a sock. Well, there you go. Problem solved. Thanks for watching. See you later.